So our current treatment paradigm for polycythemia vera uh, largely exists by uh, kind of stratifying patients into either a high risk or low risk category as far as the risk of having a thrombotic event. Um, the, risk category, the risk stratification occurs by uh, really kind of a straightforward uh, criteria where if you're over the age of 60 or you've had a prior thrombotic event, uh, then you're considered to be high risk. Uh, if you haven't had either of those two things, then, then you're considered to be low risk. Uh, low risk patients are, are typically treated with a, a baby aspirin on a daily basis, sometimes twice daily, uh, in addition to phlebotomies or, or taking blood. Uh, to, to maintain a hematocrit or a blood level that's less than 45%. Um, based on a, a prior uh, clinical trial called the CytoPV study, we know that keeping a hematocrit less than 45% is associated with about a fourfold less incidence of cardiovascular events and blood clots. Um, for high-risk patients, we still follow the same uh, guidelines as far as aspirin and phlebotomy, but we typically will add on something called cytoreductive therapy. And what, what that typically means is uh, one of three agents, either hydroxyurea, uh, interferon, or uh, ruxolitinib. And these agents help to control the blood counts a little bit more and provide an extra layer of protection against thrombotic events in people that we think have a higher risk of those occurring. Um, 